Hi, Steve Hart here. I'm uh, going to share with you a little bit of insight. Uh, as most of you may know, that I have uh, uh, been certified as a life coach, and I've also worked as a motivational speaker throughout the years, and I've spoken to numerous uh, corporations, and some of them, if I were to name the names, you would recognize them. And it's been an interesting journey. Uh, my focus has predominantly been upon self-discovery and your uh, personal potential, uh, your self-management. Uh, those are the things that I've pretty much focused on in my programs and in, when I, in my coaching with people. And the reason why is because um, I've, I've been self-employed most of my life and I've realized throughout the years that I had to learn how to capitalize upon what I already possessed and that what I mean by that are my strengths and my gifts and talents. Um, now, there are skills for me that, to learn and which I have learned and I've taken a lot of training, um, but really what's really had made me successful is what I already possessed. Now, what I mean by that is, okay, I'll just refer to them as a God-given or your birthright um, talents and strengths that, that you came into this world with. And um, uh, those are the things you do not have to go out and learn. Now, you do have to exercise them and identify what they are uh, to be able to use them to their full potential. But they're already within you. Um, so that's what I speak on. That's that's what I share. That's the focus of what I uh, do. And um, I recently had um, a potential client contact me and wanted me to uh, speak to their group. And I shared what I just shared with you a little bit about how the fact that uh, uh, I speak on uh, their gifts, strengths, and talents, what they already possess. And um, when I said, and, and these are things they don't have to go out and learn, I sense a resistance from this potential client, uh, and I and I ask myself the question: Well, why would that be? Why why would they have that feeling? Well, I'm going to share with you uh, my insight on this, and that is that many employers uh, want to uh, own you, and what what I mean by that is the fact that in in your training and in your uh, what they give you. Uh, and by teaching you skills and uh, uh, their methods, the, their vision, their goals, uh, they are investing in you and they want to own that. And I don't have to go into great detail if you've worked for a corporation or if you work for a, uh, a boss that's um, very dominant. Uh, that's, that's the way they run their business. And I, I have found if you want to work in that environment, feel free to do so. If, if you want to... Uh, if you can make a lot of money and make it worth your while, fine. But that's not what makes me happy. My happiness and my fulfillment is finding to be able to draw from within the uh, strengths and gifts and talents I do in my work. And so basically what I uh, do is I share with people how to discover what they are and to use them to their best ability so that they can uh, not only find work and make make a living but at the same time enjoy what it is they do many people do not enjoy their jobs and uh, I think that that's a sad very sad situation that you have to be working a job that you're not happy with you have great potential within you to um, be able to do whatever it is you desire to do and to be able to make a good living at whatever it is um, you can be self-employed or you can have a boss if you need uh, to have a, a job given to you, uh, one that is compatible and harmony with your uh, goals and your desires, and you're and they're able they're able to use your gifts, strengths, and talents, then do so. Um, but but realize and understand that there are employers out there who want to own you, and um, I understand the the concept behind that because they're investing in you. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, many years ago, about 15, 20 years ago, something in the workforce disappeared, and that is job security. Job security, what I mean by that is the fact that back when, uh, in, in years ago, uh, you had, uh, if you, you were employed, you usually had a secure job. I mean, it would be there for a long period of time, and if you were to leave, uh, there was a severance pay or um, a retirement. 
Today, that's not as popular as it used to be. That that is has disappeared over the years. Your job security is within you. It's what you have to give to anyone in service or in exchange for um, the work that you do. So, um, and and you're being compensated for that. So the point I'm making is is your security, your your security of, of your job and your work is hidden within you. And, uh, and the people who want to uh, control you and invest themselves in you, and um, I, I understand, like as I said, as I said, I understand what they're doing and why they're doing it, but that is not where the future of the workforce is moving. So be aware of that. So go discover what it is that you have within you, that natural talents, those gifts and strengths, and start using them to make a living and you'll find your life much happier. If you need help, get a hold of me. Thank you. Bye-bye.